Hey, what's up guys? Christian over at Unfit Car Stereo. Again, we're in a uh, Volkswagen Jetta. It's uh, the 05 and a half to 09, um, I think 2010 as well. Um, but we're replacing the factory iPod dock. Same install video for Golf, GTI, uh, EOS, and Jetta. Pretty much if you have this glove box, and then folds up and down, same thing. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna show you how to pop it out. This thing, if you're lucky, it pops right out. Uh, see like this one did. Um, just before you order, just see if it comes out with your hand. Um, this thing you can tell has been manhandled. You can see the edges on it. Um, if not, you could use, I usually use the flat tool. Just put it in here, and once you do that, it comes right out. Once it comes right out, this goes here, okay? And now we just wiggle it out. All right, and that's the factory connector, and this is the connection um, that our adapter will also have. Uh, just uh, when you connect here, you do not need a satellite bypass if you're using factory satellite. When you connect in the back of the radio, um, if you're using the satellite, you will require the splitter. All right, so now there goes that. Now let me get the adapter and we'll show you how easy it is to plug in. All right, now that we got that out, I'm gonna show you, this is the Enfig VWT-IPDU. Dash AUX. All right. So pretty much it's it's a regular uh, connector that goes um, with the trunk connector. Well, this is a trunk connector because in the early, back in '98, from '98 to about '03 or '04, this was considered a trunk connector, which is why it's called VWT because it changes. Remember, they were all in the trunk back then. If you're if you're old enough to remember that. So you plug this in. Install's done. All right. So what you're gonna do here is this box. This connector goes into the box. All right, make sure it's nice and snug because sometimes if you, uh, if it's loose and you see a line over there, it won't make a good connection. Now, this unit, the difference is from the regular VW1 we usually sell, is that this comes with a female USB and it allows you to plug in your own USB to uh, lightning or to 30 pin adapter, whichever one you want. Um, and it also comes with the auxiliary cable. All right, so the headphone jack here is the auxiliary, okay? And then, this goes into the device, all right? Now, usually what you do, you tuck all this down, you bring the cables out. If you watch our old video, um, it should be on the page for the VW for this adapter. Uh, it'll show you how to install it. Uh, this is our new updated pocket. The last pocket you saw was a little different. And um, so on our old video, we drill a hole in here and we run it right out and everything sits here. Uh, if you do that, I recommend that you leave this under the pocket and just run the um, cable out because the USB you don't want it to be. This is um, you don't want this in there rattling around. You rather have it tucked below. Uh, and then if you're gonna destroy anything, destroy the iPod cable. And then you know I don't want you guys unplugging and replugging this every day because you're gonna break this device. It's expensive. iPod cables are cheap. Just get a, a specific one for the car. Um, so that all plugs in there. If you look at our new pocket, it fits pretty good without any tape around it, all right? I mean, this is the adapter's pushing up on it. I still recommend you put tape on it. Um, it's a much better fit than the old one. Um, we've only been selling, oh, we've been selling this a couple years now, but the old video, a couple years old. So you see, see how that fits in there pretty decent? If you wanna be lazy, but I still recommend putting tape around it to give it a better, you know, more solid OEM fit. We've been looking since, for years. This is the best pocket. It gives you the best fit in here, um, even at, even the OEM expensive factory pockets, nothing fits as good. Um, all right, so that's that. Now, what we're gonna do is we are, oh, let me get the goodies, I forgot the goodies. All right, guys, so here is the new goodness. This is the Enfig MK5, MK6 shifter aux. So this is an aux cable, and this goes in here. Well, you can do either or. Um, I actually have a couple customers who have purchased, well, let me sh shift their aux. This will plug directly into the tension box, okay? Um, I also have a shifter USB, all right? Uh, I have a couple customers actually who've bought two of them. Um, one goes to the tension, and the other one, they wire it up for charging, because um, you can tap off the cigarette lighter uh, with a converter. We don't sell the converter yet, but eventually we will. Um, and so, it doesn't look 100% perfect, but you can do See, the USB is supposed to go out here, the auxiliary goes here, but then you can do another USB at the right angle because these are square and there's a little curve. It, it works, but um, my OCD customers, 
do not complain. All right, so we're gonna show you how to install this right now. Uh, <coughs> if you have the full panel popper set, uh, grab the PPT4, um, that's what it's made for. Uh, the PPT4, it's a pry tool. You just insert it in here. Let me just show you on this end. Uh, you know what, let me put the car in drive. Put the e-brake up, make sure, also test your e-brake, make sure it doesn't roll. All right. All right, so we're gonna insert this here. Okay, and then slowly pry up. You can do it with the regular panel tools, but if you have this tool set, the entire set, that's exactly what this is for. This is a pry. Everyone's like, what's this for? See, it's made to go in and boop. All right, so go up. Now, well, that came out unexpectedly. Um, That came out unexpectedly. It's probably been out before. Um, that does not usually come out that easy. Um, usually you have to squeeze in you see over here oh, yeah this is correct right here that's why yeah it's a bit someone's been in here before um all right so usually what you got to do is that you have to squeeze in and you see these locking tabs um can you see them right there those locking tabs have to be pushed in and it comes out um so then once you do that you can unplug this this gets unplugged by going in here nice and easy all this does is show you what shifter well, Hmm. It's definitely been out before. All right, so I'm gonna use a panel tool to put a little more pressure on that. And just wiggle that out. It just unplugs right now. I don't know why that one's that hard to do. But yeah, all it is is a locking tab. Um, you might have to put a little pressure on it but if you look at it right there it goes right back in all right and then just put a little pressure on the locking tab actually you might want to can you see this on camera yeah you might want to just push that in and just use a pry tool and then yeah you can see it wiggle out it just wiggles out that's it it's not too hard all right next thing you're going to do here is there are two t20 torques all right and these don't look like the right color I think they're black, but I could be off. Could be off. I'm a little suspicious now, because the uh, center thing. All right, so now once you do that, now we still got the foot on the brake, you brake up. All right, you're just gonna pull this up, okay? Comes up just like so. All right, and now you're gonna, when you get down here, you're gonna disconnect the ASR. All these connectors are stiff. So, side tab and then pull. All right, now you come over here, this is the cigarette lighter. All right. Now the cigarette lighter, you're gonna squeeze over here and pull down. Okay, uh, somebody has been back here. I'll tell you why. All right, if you see this harness, I'll just pull this out. All right, if you see this right here, this is the push connector, okay? Now that is supposed to, oh yeah, look, there's a door screw over here. There's a dime over here. Older cars, they get to, all right, you see this goes, you see this right here? You can see it, yeah, there you go. See that push thing is supposed to go in there, this way. Okay, so when you put it back, make sure you do that. At this point, we're getting to these panels right here. All right, all you gotta do is push them out. Like that, simple, just squeeze off the side and it goes right out nice and easy. Now we're gonna insert the new ones in its place. Uh, if you look at the auxiliary, the auxiliary has a complete square. So also, do not unplug this. Um, this goes back either way. So last thing you wanna do is unplug it and put it back the wrong way. All right, so usually I wouldn't do this here. I would take it and do it on, on my lap or something, but for the video's sake, I'm going to show you here because it's easier. All right, so that goes in there. Boom, okay. And the USB is the same thing. Uh, the USB, I don't remember now. I forget which way it goes. Just pay attention to something real quick. Because the USB can be installed both ways. Yeah, no, you have to use this side because this side does not, uh, 
because of the way it curves, you can't use this side. All right. Nice and easy drop in. All right, so it just goes in. This goes in here. Nice drop in. Okay. So now we're gonna run the cables. Um, let me get this out of here to show you the first part of it. Let me. Uh, and can I adjust this here without changing? Yeah, that looks like you guys can see enough. All right. First part of the run of the cables is super easy. Um, all you really have to do is just do this and your fingers touch. Actually, you know what? Look, that's how easy it is. You have nothing to worry about. All right, now once you get the cables here, you have to get them back into the center console. Um, trying to figure out the easiest way of showing you this. I might actually take out the chair, because if I take out the chair, we do not recommend you take out the chair at home. If you take out the chair, um, you can you have there's an airbag in these chairs so if you unplug the chair and take it out you're going to trigger a uh, airbag light um and you need a the vacuum to reset it um also this can easily be done with the chair in uh, we're just taking out the chair problem i think i'm gonna take out the chair just because it shows you i want to show you exactly how to run the cable i don't want you guys to be at home confused and lost um so let me uh i'll be right back all right guys so the goal of all our videos is to show you the easiest way of doing things. Not necessarily the way we would do them in the house. Um, it's the easiest way for you to do it at home. All right, so I was gonna take out the video, the, the chair. It's already unbolted, but um, I'm like, you know what? If I take out the chair, people are gonna get discouraged. So I played around a little and I figured out the, e the way we do it, we just jam our fingers in from the front and then get it done. Um, but this right here, for someone who you know, because you can get discouraged doing this stuff, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab a panel tool, okay? This panel tool or whatever tool you got. And you see there's a split here. I don't know if you can see that on film. Make sure I'm not blocking it. You can see the plastic splits. So the center console is two pieces. here to kind of create a gap all right so now we have a nice little gap now this cable you have to insert it going in through here kind of like a, a an angle when you insert it in through here kind of going towards the back a little once you're peeking inside the opening see how it's going see that angle i got it's perfect okay you can actually see it. Like, I'm gonna put my hand in here and grab this cable. Look, I just pushed it with my fingers by mistake. I just went in and pushed it without even picking, okay? See, see how easy that was to run? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing with the aux cable. Aux cable might not be long enough. It's, it's a lot easier when you're looking. And I'm sitting here doing this blind. I decided let me do it this way um, as you can see I can push and pull see I'm pushing pushing on it the aux cable is a little short because the thing is not all the way in um, uh, let me just see if I can actually you know what let me just show you how easy it is because a lot of times these videos I see videos all the time from other people they're like look look how easy it is and then when you go do it it's like that's not that easy <laughs> all right so if you look I'm gonna do it one more time insert cable like a lot of the videos that I see people already have the radio out I'm like oh that radio was a hard thing to get out I'll just show it apart already oh, it's, it's in my fingertips all right that and one more time no edit just want you to guys to see how easy it is all right Oops. you can see it as soon as you look down all right actually you know what let me try, I'm not gonna guarantee it, but let me try to, uh, you can see the video here, right? Yeah. Let me try to show you how easy it is from the top. All right, guys, now this is an impossible angle. Um, but you can see things up top first. I'm gonna snake it in there. You see it, see it? Look, I didn't even do anything. All right, so let me pull it back out. All right, I'm gonna go back in. 
Oh. Sorry guys, it's a little, it's a hard angle to grab. And plus I think this car's armor all on the seats itself. All right, you see, look, twice. All right, super easy to do. Now let's go on to the next part. All right, so now we're back up front. We gotta plug all this stuff in first. Um, the e-brake up, foot on the brake, check the e-brake. The, the cable on the auxiliary was designed when we ordered it to go behind the radio. We never redesigned it to go all the way back. So um, it's tight. It'll work, but it's tight. We should have made it longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back first. Right? So put in this back. Remember this little white thing I was telling you about? The little white connector. That has to get plugged into the hole under here. Um, it's just to keep everything neat. Absolutely nothing will happen if you don't plug it in, but why aren't you plugging it in? Actually, you know what, before you do that, plug in the cigarette lighter first. Okay. And then we're going to plug this, no, this one's over here. This little one goes over here. And then that one over there. And now when you when you push it in, just make sure these cables don't get caught up as you push it in. All right. There you go. Uh, the two screws go back in. Let me put that. Also, make sure it's tight. Um, I'm using a drill gun which has a clutch, so make sure I don't break the plastic. Uh, clutch does is that it stops, and when it feels a certain amount of resistance, it stops from spinning, so you don't break anything. All right, and then we're doing a shifter. Right, so, the way this thing goes back, like I said, if you look on here, there's little notches. Notch one, notch two. So, those gotta go back in. Yeah, you get to see. Oh no. It's weird the way it just came out like that. You gonna plug this back in? I already plugged this in before on video, so it should be nice and easy. It sure goes all the way. It clips in. Uh, actually. Actually, I'm completely lying about the way this went in. Um, you're gonna plug this in first in the back. Okay, you see how this has a little lip? Okay, so this is gonna go in here first. Okay, then you're gonna do the same thing, but up front, and the sides fall into place. Like I said, this side one over here is broken. See, I fell apart when we took it apart. Well, somebody must have tried to take this apart before. Well, the screws don't look right, so. All right, and usually that just pops in here. Put it into, I forget which way it goes, neutral. Yeah. Neutral. Make sure this cable's out of the way. But make sure this goes in first and then that pops in. See, it's on. Now, I'm gonna pop this off, see if I can get this a little bit better. Oh, I don't even see that fall. I'm, I'm probably gonna hot glue this. Um, hot glue them together, maybe crazy glue it together so it doesn't do that, all right? But, um, so I'm uh, gonna push it all the way and I'll do that in a second. All right, now let me adjust the camera to show you the, uh, the rest of the install. All right, guys, now I lifted up the seat to show you. Uh, this is the cables where they came down, the center console, and this is the console over here. All right, now you're gonna, these are gonna come out tight. I'm gonna do it one more time to show you how easy it is. Uh, watch this be the one that takes forever. Um, the reason you use the tool in the other video, in the be earlier, is because you can't get to this because the seat's in the way. So the tool helps it be a lot easier. It actually helps right now, too. Um, I got it on my fingers, it's just it's a smaller hole. You guys saw the way it was. All right, so that's out. That's right there, and we're gonna do this one. You do it the way you're supposed to do it. Oh. You're supposed to put a light in here as you guide it, and you'll see it hit. You'll see it, and once you see it, you don't even have to touch. So you just push it up, and then look, it's right there. That's how it, it was right there. It is right there. Doing stuff on video is always harder. All right, so you're gonna grab both cables. They're right here. You can see that, right? Yep. And then you're gonna pull them tight. 
Make sure it goes in here. This is a little bit harder to do when the seat's in the way. All right, that's that. Now, next thing I recommend you do is zip tie or tie these cables to this harness. Um, that way, because the e-brakes over here, you don't want them getting in the way. Um, at this point, I'm gonna swap camera angles and I'm gonna put the seat back and then we're gonna finish up up here. All right, guys, now we're gonna wrap up the uh, NFIC VWT IPDU install. Um, so we did it already, but this is the connector that comes. Well, let me go over here. Sorry, to get this angle is impossible. I actually have the tripod leaning on my leg. Um, all right, so this is the box. Okay. Um, now we're gonna grab the aux cable that we just ran. Oh, of course, I forgot the adapter. All right, so yeah, this needs to be like another inch long, six inches long. It's pretty tight. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap electrical tape around this, um, is what I do. Actually, you don't even have to in this case. It's so tight, I don't even recommend it. Um, you know what, the wedge should hold it. It's up to you, you can wrap electrical tape. I choose not to right now because I feel like um, it's just too tight. That's gonna cause a problem um, with, um, I just don't want the, whatchamacallit? I don't want the piece um, going, being under pressure too much and then breaking. With car vibrations. All right, so there's a little pocket over here. So if you do that, you can kind of wedge this right across. All right. Um, now, oh, oh, there is the other piece that I forgot. I'll be right back. I wish I got a video me trying to get that piece right now. Um, it's just, this is such a, gr a perfect angle. I don't want to move. Um, all right, so this goes in here. This snaps in. This locks in the place. So you don't have to worry about taping this. Um, now this is the USB adapter. All right, so we're definitely going to do this. Okay, grab some electrical tape. Don't go too crazy with the tape. You see how there's not a lot of slack. I don't want it like this because that's going to be a problem. Um, just enough to hold it. This I would definitely tape because this isn't as good as connection as a 3.5. All right. And then now what we're going to do, we're just going to gently place this down here. Okay. All that stuff goes in there. Now, when you're looking, make sure there's nothing sticking out that will get in the way. Um, now, the pocket needs some electrical tape, but let me get some duct tape, actually. But if you put it in like so, it holds in pretty good. Let me uh, go put some tape on it, and we'll come back, and we'll show you. I'm going to change the angle. I can't hold this anymore. All right, guys, so took the pocket, wrapped it with uh, three layers of uh, 3M duct tape, All right? Now, now when you put it in, well, no. now when you put it in, you probably won't be able to get it out, but see, it's a lot better. It doesn't wiggle as much. I mean, it wiggles, but that's an acceptable wiggle. It's not gonna rattle while you're driving. So that's regular 3M duct tape three. And that's it, I mean, that's the whole install. Uh, previous install had the aux port in here. You could also do that. Um, we just like the USB up front. It's really, really, really nice. Um, uh, but yeah, that's it. All right, so that's the install. Now you get your pocket. Uh, you get the USB and the uh, auxiliary up front. Uh, sorry for the long video, but I wanted to make it detailed and accurate. Um, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you uh, how it works. We're gonna make that in a different video only because uh, we're trying to make it quick. Uh, people don't like seeing a long, long video. Turn, you know, they, it's just I, attention span is tiny nowadays. Um, anyway, video is brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. Um, if you're a shop, we do wholesale accounts. Um, we ship worldwide for a pretty good price. Um, oh, if you guys own, I know some Tourans, I think, and Seat and Skodas also have this. This also replaces the factory adapter if you're in Europe um, or South America or wherever else those cars are. Um, yeah, that's it, nfitcarstereo.com, sell, install, ship worldwide. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. My name is Christian, uh, nfitcarstereo.com. Thanks for watching.